Hi, welcome to Epixel Live. My name's Adam Hanlon, and I'm joined by Ken and Kim Bakifa from Houston. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. How's the weather in, in Houston at the moment? It is gorgeous. Probably 78 degrees, oh. blue skies. Oh. Nice. We don't have weather like that very much. Uh, well, <laughs> once a year, it's called summer. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> uh, yeah, sounds good. So, so Ken and Kimber have kindly agreed to share some of their imagery in this episode, um, and they've been given the instructions to choose five images, which I'm sure they'll ignore. Um, but, um, but um, so really, it's not very much about me at all. So, I'm going to pass it over to them, um, and they're going to show us some of the wonderful images and tell us the stories behind behind some of the pictures. So, over to you guys. All right, I I think we'll start kind of at the beginning of how we did got into the modeling and playing around underwater. And it's a shot of Kimber on the Yeah. And if, and if any of the audience is old enough to remember a movie called Flashdance, yeah. uh, this looks like Flashdance to me. Yeah. One of the one of the main scenes of that movie, she's getting hit with water while she's up on stage on a chair, and it looks very similar to me. And um, the, the, I, one of the most important things that I'm aiming for, especially in a pool shoot, is reflections. I like I like either the crazy distorted reflections sometimes. And in this particular case, I wanted a perfect reflection. Mm. And so I made Kimber sit in that position with water running down her sinuses repeatedly and for over a minute at a time. We made sure we blew out our air on the surface so that we're not making bubbles to make more ripples. And so we would gently go underwater, sit and wait, and then finally get, and it took a lot of time. She had water for days coming out of her sinuses, but <laughs> I, I had it in my mind that I wanted that, I wanted the reflection to look just like her, a, a, a mirror image of her. Yeah, yeah, and it's a perfect reflection. It's, it's wonderful, yeah. So so how did you like that then, um, Ken? What's what's the lighting on that? The, we went, I wanted until, I didn't want, let me look at it, make sure I'm looking at it. The, uh, I wanted, sun not to put shade because I didn't want shadows coming across from the side of the pool yeah. and, and so we we knew what time the sun hits that angle at our pool so we set up everything to shoot at say 11 a.m. we said okay we've got you know 40 minutes 30 minutes where everything will be lined up and we want it there and then I used my two eye light DS-161 and I, I put them kind of low and angled up to try to eliminate some of the shadows on timber on the body and and I don't want to completely eliminate the shadows, but I just want to I want to put some light there to get the color and not so you don't yep. you don't run into that blue curve at the bottom. Yep. And so I adapted like I just adjusted my strokes to where they weren't overpowering, but where they put the right amount of shadow reduction that I wanted. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so so Kimmy, it's quite you've got quite a it's quite a strong pose that if holding that pose must have been quite hard work, wasn't it? Yeah, so just to kind of touch base how this is kind of combined, this photo is one of the first really fitness shots we did. We tried it in the pool once, but it didn't go well. So, um, like he said, um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the chair has weights on it, actually. Wow. We weighted the chair down. We had to get, I don't know what kind of weights. I used scuba weights in right. pool, pool silicone, like they are aquarium, like you would you have use silicone to steal an aquarium and I, I put it upside down and I put three tubes of silicone completely encasing the scuba weights on the bottom of it and it was an experiment. We tried yeah. one weight, two weights, we ended up with I think nine pounds to hold the chair. But it's still challenging because I still have to get my air out, Get you know, you want to make sure you actually look like you're seating on there. So the chair is still kind of scooting but it's more manageable. Right, so if she, if she holds the arms and torques her body, the chair will move and it's not the position I wanted. So yeah. we went through a lot of trial and error. Yeah, and the thing with, with, with modeling in general and whether you're underwater or on land is your body hurts to pose properly. You should be arching your back, pointing your toes. Yeah. Um, everything like that. Cats cramping. Cramps, toes. I mean, it, does, it is. It, you can see it's a very you know you're holding a pose there that's you know it's not it's not it's not a it's a funny funny term but it's not a natural pose it's not it's not how someone sits in a chair um it's very dramatic it's very dramatic it's pose, not how you watch a TV. yeah <laughs> <laughs> i can imagine not um but yeah. you know you had asked sometimes you do motion but that was a still pose so that's just perfecting things still getting the proper reflection and she, had a, she had to flip her hair without disturbing the 
the yeah. reflection. Yeah. Yeah. It's lovely. It's lovely. Go on then. What's number two? Number two, I'm going to go Sonote. Sure. The Sonote, since we're talking about lighting, the, uh, the Sonote, I think it's called Cristalino. We were, uh, we were doing, we did uh, several dresses, several different locations. It's a big Sonote with a couple of different pools. And so we were going around and, um, we were swimming through this area. The clouds moved and, and light is very dependent there on time of day, time of year. Certain times of year, there may not be any sunlight. Certain times of year, there's some laser beams coming down with the deep yeah. and stuff. And so we were swimming and those light rays came shooting down and I just yelled at Kimber, get over there and do something cool. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I didn't have a pose, but I knew I wanted it up toward the surface. I, I gave her the rock that I wanted on. And so yeah. she went over and started moving around and, and the light beams just in, intrigued me and I, I had to get something. And she wasn't sure why I was so excited. So I showed her the back of the camera and she's like, oh, shit. you know, the, like the lights looked really cool with the, the yeah. mangrove roots, the bamboo and the, all the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. One thing, because uh, when we go to Mexico, we usually go with you can pan dive trip because there's thousands and thousands of snow days and you, they all have different looks and some are great for modeling and some aren't. So it is best to try to connect with somebody that can kind of show you the ropes and uh, you know some good modeling and like you said this one's really good because it has several locations in one spot um, and with this shot it was freezing it was very cold and um, I didn't it felt dark under there to me and when he showed me the back of the camera and I saw all the light behind me you know that helps me decide how to pose and um, to fit the backdrop to get the what's mood. going on set right, the, mood the, mood the, the vibe. vibe yeah so, to me like that felt like just black and the rocks are grimy and it doesn't feel pretty it really doesn't feel pretty when you're modeling yeah and yes it is i mean it's a very dramatic kind of um sensual shot isn't it so um yeah it's um it's lovely another thing i'll say about yucatan dive trek even if you're not doing modeling or something if you're just going diving to get variety like there they can you can do whale sharks bull sharks crocodiles cenotes Tarpon, saltwater, tech dive, cave, cavern, they, they've got such a variety. And they, yeah. as, as Javier, the, the owner, likes to, one of the owners likes to say, they've tried all the shitty restaurants so that they can tell you, oh, sorry, all the crappy restaurants so that they can give you, <laughs> so that they can give you the, the good ones. They, yeah. know, they know the hotel. They can set up the entire trip, which is uh, why a lot of Europeans end up going over there because you guys are lucky to have the holiday versus just mm -hmm. one week or something. You can go for three weeks. And they can they can take care of all the logistics of that. Yeah. And it takes the stress off where you can focus. You're not trying to drive, decide where to go, what to do. You can focus your energy into the into the diving, shoot. the fun. Yeah, yeah. Or, or or as you say, you know, the fact that they've, they've got local knowledge. I mean, that's really really important for you know to get images yeah. like this. That it's it, it's yeah, not just year, time yeah. of year to get the light beams. Yeah. They know what's happening. Yeah. Like he said, you yeah, can you could get shut out. Yeah. All right, move to a shark. A shark. Go with the Kimber on the rail, the stairs with the shark. Yeah. This image is one of my personal favorites. It's, some of it's emotion. Some of it's the fact that it was the first time she modeled in saltwater. It was with 40, 50 sharks. This was at Stewart Cove, which is a great place to go for a variety of things. But uh, they've got an amazing safety team. So we had a short time to do this. We came up with... We, we didn't even know, we had never been on this particular shipwreck before, so I didn't know where it would look good. Uh, a handy thing about the stair rail, even though she gets, she may get burned a little bit by fire corals and whatnot by, by touching that, it gives her a point of uh, anchor, something, yeah. to, something to, so she can maneuver her body without floating up or moving off or something, so, so the stair rail is pretty handy. And um, the, when we went down, you have to judge where the light is, where the where the safety divers, where the shark wrangler can go. And so, in, in this particular shot, the shark wrangler is over on the side to my right, and uh, directing the sharks. So the sharks were kind of swimming a circular pattern around the entire boat. Yeah. And and Kimber, I this is an instance. Generally, you don't want to shoot down in underwater photography. You always have to shoot up because most of the time, if you shoot down, your subject will kind of blend into the bottom. But here, I knew I could light her and have the sharks 
as a background where they're not the first thing you see, but yeah. then when you see it, it just kind of it, it hits you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think what works really, I, I think that the staircase is an interesting point because I think you know, this idea that, that Kimber, you're walking up the stairs or climbing up the stairs, um, you know, and, and obviously you've got this dress on as opposed to usual diving gear. So that's the first thing that draws your eye. And then the next thing is the sharks in the background. It's a really powerful image. It's got, it's got lots of different It's like she's coming up the stairs away from the possible danger. I do have a weight belt on, but I'm not super weighted, so I'm still kind of a little bit buoyant. So making movements is still takes some effort, and I'm barely holding the handrail. I try not to disturb. Well, for one, it stings too, but you don't want to be like grabbing and ripping sure. and um, messing no, with nature up and the shipwrecks and stuff like that too. So we are always respectful as we can be on things. Um, you know, I do have a weight belt. And then you have to make sure you don't walk up the stairs too fast because then your hair doesn't be right. So there's right. always a lot of factors. If I'm walking too fast, my hair will look slick back. Look like yeah. you stick your head out the car window. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. you have to know how to move and not move too fast. And I think your facial expression is, is, is fantastic, Kimber, because it's very, it's very relaxed. It's no, there's no... There's no element of, of stress or, you know, it's, you mentioned it's the first time you've done it in salt water. It's, uh, you, don't, you don't look like that, Kim. You look like you knew it forever. So no, that's, I, that's a good thing. I was absolutely amazed that this was going on and mm. still remembered to pull the shutter because yeah. I was just fascinated watching it. Well, I want to say, too, because him and I shoot together alone a lot. Like, we don't have a team, right? So the, I felt a little bit of pressure because I had people, you know, safeties, and I had a whole huge team that – was watching me, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I felt pressure. I was nervous. I wasn't sure how I would perform, and I felt pressure. But I wanted to do it, and I had a little bit of nerves. I think that's natural. I think you should, sure. because you know it can be very dangerous. All of this, um, you know, it's important to have experience with sharks, like we've said before. And but it was pressure. I did feel pressure. I had you know free divers watching me, and uh, you know it was a lot of pressure. I've got, if, if anyone wants to see the behind the scenes video of this actual shot, that shoot, it's on my Instagram on the IGTV, yep. and it's got, um, it's got some interesting, you can see on one, at one point she's kind of sitting on the ledge of, of the shipwreck, and sharks are circling, and one of them takes interest in her foot, because she's wearing a black dress and her legs sticking out, yep. and one of them looks at it, because it's something that, you know, like it's not black, and so it glances at it, and you can see her slowly kind of move her foot back. And uh, the shark goes on about its business, but you can see she can see shapes. She can't can see, see the movement. exact details, but you can also see a lot of the process. You can see the safety divers swim over. She's giving Kimber air. They're counting. They get to three. Safety diver takes a mass, takes a regulator, swims off. Then I kind of start my whatever angles I want to come in towards and move towards her. And it's got it's got an angle of. When she's walking up the stairs and I'm above her, it's got an angle from the side. You can see the setup. You can see the safety divers. The Very cool. In the background. Well, what, what, we might try and link to that, shall we, Ken? Is that is that? I might try and link to it in some way. Sure. I, I messaged yeah. it to you. I can send it to you. We transfer if you need the yeah. file. Or yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll put it up somewhere. It sounds really good. Excellent. Yeah. Well, are you recording or not? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I I just wanted to say on that um, out of how long were we down there? 30 minutes? Yeah, there was only the one shark that showed any interest. And I did have to limit my arm movements. I didn't, I couldn't like flail my arms a lot and stuff. That was one thing in the safety meeting. She was like, in one point, she's like, no, you're moving your arms too much, you know? So, but out of all of that, and they do, I know shark feeding is controversial, but they won't come around if they don't smell yeah. food. And so he just has a scent over there. And, you know, they're all in a calm state manner. But you yep. know, only that one made any kind of interest. No, it was just curiosity. Yeah, it was. Well, like, it, What's that? And as soon as I pulled back, it just swam right off. I mean, they, they, they do definitely they get attracted by contrast, don't they? And exactly what you said. Right. You know, the, the edge of the black dress with a, with a, with a white limb underneath it. That'll be something they want to go and check out, and see what it is. Yeah, for sure. And that's uh, another reason that we don't. Sometimes people, sometimes people ask if you free dive down, take some of these images. The reason that we do scuba, besides the fact that you don't wear yourself out and you, you know, more susceptible to decompression sickness from doing that yeah. after scuba diving or during scuba diving, the other reason that much movement 
will really get the sharks excited because yeah. something's going on. Your dress yeah. is flowing. You're kicking real fast. Your heart rate's elevated. So everything is, stays on a calm level. And and uh, going back to your comment about facial expression, Adam, the uh, Kimber is luckily able. I've, we've shot a lot of clients, models, stuff like that. And out of 100 people, maybe five people naturally go underwater and they just look the same as they do on top. Kimber yeah. was not that way. She had to work at it. And, and she's able to impart to other people, hey, here's what you need to do to try to relax your face. You don't want to look like you're holding your breath. You don't want to look like forced eyes open. You don't want to look like you're in pain. And it's tough. It's really tough. I can't yeah. do it. I've never tried. No, I'm sure I couldn't. <laughs> because there's no, no reason for me. But the fact that she can do it but wasn't natural is more important. If, she, if it was natural to her, she wouldn't be able to impart that knowledge. Sure. She would just say, why can't you do it? Well, some people are natural lucky, but... Yeah. It's better that she wasn't that way. That's the one thing I, I say that um, you can change a lot in post-production, Photoshop, things like that, but you can't change your facial expression. No. So that is no. the one thing you have to get. Oh, Although the latest version of Photoshop is quite interesting. But, yeah, I mean, no, I, I quite agree. You're, <laughs> you're, um, you're, you're quite right. So um, Ken and Kimber showed us their images, and they have been cheating as we expected, so there's another three images. So I made the decision that I was going to split this into two episodes. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode thus far, and um, look forward to uh, to showing you part two very soon. Um, and please feel free to check out the sponsor of this episode, which is iColite, and uh, feel free to give the episode a like if you enjoyed it, or any comments or suggestions in the suggestions box below. Thanks very much, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.